What's up guys? I'm coming to you with another new video. First things first, sorry I look a hot mess, but um, I got my braids, they are old, so they are very frizzy. I actually just washed my hair, so it is more frizzy -er than it would be. But anyways, I'm gonna put back on my wig. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and show or film this video for you guys. It's kind of like a first impression because it's my first time using it, but I decided to film it anyway for you guys. But it is um, on Bold Hold Lace Wig Tape or whatever. Came to me like this. I just got it in the mail a couple of days ago. Came like this in this little blue envelope. And um, inside it just comes with the tape. Looks like this. And it has uh, 40 strips in the bag. They look like this. And they, like I said, it comes with 40. Um, so I already cut them, or I just cut them to how I want them to be. Um, I only cut four strips. It's gonna go like about like right here. I'm not gonna do like the size because I feel like the size never stay. Um, for me and when I did watch some videos on it like the size really don't stay for other people either So I might as well not waste tape. It's not gonna stay. I don't have a stocking cap like you know to put on over my braids, so We're gonna just do it like this. I am gonna gel my edges down. Do not get caught in this tape because I heard this tape is very strong and it will pull out your edges so not gonna have that happen so i will be um gelling down my edges real quick with some guts to be so yeah let's basically let's do this all right so my edges are down all right so Next, you have to clean off your forehead. I have my cotton swab and I have my 91% alcohol. It says to use only 91%, I believe, so that is what I'm going to be using today. And I'm just going to clean off the perimeter where I'm going to be putting the tape. So it is free from debris and all that stuff. This is my wig here. I'm just gonna put on this black one. I just washed it the other day, so it is clean. Let me just comb it out real quick. So how we're gonna do this is you take off one side. You're supposed to have tweezers for this, but I don't have any tweezers, so we're going to just, you know, do this how I have it. So put it this way. I'm going to put the rounded tip at the top. It is very sticky. Place that right in the center. Yeah, this tape is very sticky, like it's very strong, I can tell. So I do get why they say to um, make sure, first of all, well, whatever. Um, I do get why they said to make sure you don't put it on your edges because I can definitely tell this will ink out your edges. So, I think I'm only going to put three. I have four, but I'm just going to put three, whatever. Because like I said, I don't really feel like having it on the edges, so, or the sides, whatever you want to call it, like right here. Unless I cut this in half and then put it here. Hmm. 
Maybe so. I mean, since I cut an extra one, I guess I'll just cut it in half and then put it on the side. You know what I'm doing, considering this is my first time doing this, and I'm learning as I'm making this video. So, we're just gonna hope it comes out correctly, you know? Okay, so make sure they're all pushed in correctly. And then we're just gonna try to take these off without tweezers. <laughs> and hope for the best. If you guys have tweezers, definitely use tweezers. I am just doing this incorrectly already, you know, so. Oh well. It's not super hard to take off, but it's not the easiest. I will say that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's not the easiest, but it's not super hard. Okay, so I got them off, but the side ones, they didn't do so good. But, um, yeah, anyways. I'm just going to go for it. And I'm put it on. Uh, make sure all the hair is out of it, or out of the lace part so it doesn't get in the tape as much as I can. And also I'm not gonna put it on the tape, like I'm gonna put it on and then adjust it. Okay, so handy dandy clips to clip the hair out some out of the way some all right so we're gonna take this and inch it up and place it right on the tape And uh, hold on, make sure this is on correctly. Okay, now take it and place it on the tape. Don't mess up like I just did, but okay. All right, so the tape is on there, or the wig is on there, should I say? Now, I'm just gonna go in there and press to make sure it sticks. It is definitely tight. Like, I definitely feel it, like, pulling, if you want to say. Which I'm going to say is a good thing, as in, it's going to stay down and stay put. Okay, first things first, I love this. Like, I was just combing my hair, and it is, like, it's stuck. Like, I like this a lot. And see if you guys can see, like, my frontal. It is looking pretty good. These are my baby hairs that I combed out so I can, like, you know, swoop it so it looks more natural. But other than that, it looks really good. Um, I really like this. I'm going to... Um, 
not up, I'm not uploading it like this so you guys will see I'm gonna come back on here whenever it starts to lift like I'm gonna give you guys updates so today is day one of me putting it on it is a Thursday so whenever it starts lifting I'll come back and whenever it comes off or either I take it off I will come back also so you guys get the full on um review basically but first impression I love it like it feels like tight on like I like that feels like it's not going anywhere like it feels like a sewing no lie so I'm really liking that like my edges like this is old gel that I have to get off but everything feels good so yeah I'll come back on here um Whenever it starts to lift. Okay, so I just want to come back on here real quick. It hasn't even been 30-ish minutes. I'm sitting here straightening my hair. Um, and the sides are popping up. Like, this side is, is off. Like, I just push it back on the uh, tape and, like, pushed it down so it could stay. And this side is starting to do the same thing a little bit. So, um, I don't know what went wrong, what I did wrong, if I even did anything wrong or it's just a tape. But, um, yeah, I think I cut the camera off at 5.50 it is, or like 5, um, well, I said 5.50. I don't know why that just came to my head. But 5.40 and, um, it is now 6.03. So it hasn't even been that long and like like I said, I'm literally just sitting here straightening my hair and the sides are popping up. So um my first impression went from a thumbs up to like a side thumb because I don't know what's going on. The middle seems still intact, but I don't know. Um, I guess I'll just keep you guys updated. So, I did some baby hairs and my part is pretty good. Everything is basically blended. I hate how poofy this wig is, but yeah, I'm gonna, um, tie down the baby hairs and, um, like the frontal itself to... Make sure it stays in place. Okay. I'm gonna tie it like this. Okay. I know I'm probably gonna get a knot, or not a knot, but a dent in my hair. You and I just straighten it, but whatever. It'll do for now. So, okay, I'm going to leave my hair like this. I'm not going anywhere fancy tonight. So, leave it like this until tomorrow. And then, like I said, I'll be back with updates for you guys. I just wanted to come on here and give you guys a quick update on my hair. So, I opened up my part a little bit more. As you guys can see, it looks a lot better. Looks more natural. Give you guys a close up, and I put a little bit of um foundation, like concealer, on it. I bought this stuff from Sally's for my uh, parts. It's from Colab Oh So Fresh Skin Tint Cream. But it looks like this. My shade is. I don't even know. Oh, Tawny Mocha. It's right here on the back. Yeah, it looks like this though. And I use that for my um, frontals, for my um, lace. But yeah, I strained it a little bit so it looks a little bit better. I did a little bit of baby hairs, but I'm not very good on baby hairs. But anyways, hide the lace, that's the point. It looks really good from afar though. But yeah, um, anyways, like I was saying, uh, 
But um, last night around like 10.30, I took off the like little sides that I had because they kept lifting like they were not staying. And literally like the tape was just visible because the hair wasn't sticking to it or the lace wasn't sticking to it. So I just took those off. So there's nothing there. I have like a little bobby pin right there because like a little flap. And then here, this side is pretty, um, is off, but the flap is smaller on this side, so I didn't really need anything. But, um, right here is so good. Right here is so good, and the middle is really good. So, um, yeah, that part is staying pretty good. It feels pretty decent on, like, it's not gonna move, but just the sides, they're just horrible. Like, um, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna go on with my day, see how everything goes, and like I said, I'll just be back on here if anything else happens to update you guys. Okay, so I'm doing my hair, and today it is lifting, um, in the middle, as you can see. I don't want to pull it off because I don't want to redo it, <laughs> but it's lifting, um, the sides, the middle, so it's basically off. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna redo it because I'm gonna go somewhere, but um, I'll probably do it tonight. But um, today is Saturday, I believe I told you guys what day I started. I hope I did because I do not remember. But today is Saturday, and this is the first day it started lifting so. Whatever day I started till Saturday, it lasted that long. Which I know it hasn't been that long. It's only been a couple of days. So I feel that's not long enough. I thought it was supposed to last longer than it did. So um, I'm basically just going to close this vlog or this video out now. Um, my final thoughts because it's off basically. Um, my final review on this bold hold lace tape is it's a no-go for me um i spent 25 dollars on this 26 actually 25.99 it was on sale for 20 dollars i think original price is 25 dollars so it's um five dollars cheaper and then shipping was 5.99 so i spent 25.99 on this product 26 dollars so I thought it was going to be really good. I see all the celebrities and stuff using it and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but it is, like I said, a no-go. It didn't really work how I assumed it was. I feel like even though um, Gots to Be comes off with like water easily, I feel like it kind of lasts a long time, like longer than this tape did or maybe like a roundabout I want to say longer I guess maybe a roundabout because guys be doesn't last that long because it comes off with sweat and water and all that stuff so it doesn't last that long either but um I thought this was supposed to last longer but it literally kind of lasts like I said around about the same time as guys to be I would say and for you all know guys to be you could buy at Walgreens CVS and you know it's very much cheaper than $25 so um probably just gonna stick with got to be um it doesn't rip out my edges like this tape can anyway and it lasts around the same time so yeah final review like I said this is a no-go for me unfortunately that was a waste of money but you know oh well hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it was very helpful and and I'll see you guys next time